Today I wanted to shoot a quick video and talk about a common cue that I hear during shoulder programs that I'm not quite sure is, is probably the most advantageous cue that we could give during these exercises. So the cue that I'm talking about is when you have the person, why don't you turn for me a little bit, uh, when you have the person pinch the scapulas together and really hold those scaps and lock them in place when you're doing some of your exercises. So this could be with standing elevation exercises like lateral raises, full cans, it could be prone during like some trap raises or Ys or, or some sort of exercises like that. But what I wanted to show you is, is let's do an example of that where you pinch your shoulder blades together and now lift your arms up like you're doing a full can exercise for me. And you lift it up here. So now that's a pretty aggressive kind of lock back the scapulas there. Um, I, I see why people often recommend doing that where you want to get a little bit better posture. But I think what happens with this is if you really look at his scapula position here, I'm going to put my hand on his scap so it's almost acting like the scap itself, you see there's not a lot of upward rotation of the scapula. So it's almost like you're, you're locking the scap in a, a fully retracted position, which isn't neutral, which isn't good alignment, and then lifting your humeral head or lifting your arm up into that locked scapular position. So that's something that we try to avoid because I want normal scapular humeral rhythm, right? So if you think about when you elevate your arm overhead, I want the scap to upwardly rotate just as much as the arm, um, excuse me, the humerus elevates, so that way you have a good natural rhythm of the two together. I don't want to lock in the scaps and just leave it at the shoulder. So lift up, let me see a nice normal lift for me here. And watch how the scapula really rotates. Keep going, go all the way up overhead for me so you can see the whole motion. See how the scapula really upwardly rotates and come back down? Good, and we're getting a good full motion of the scap there, good. Now lock the scaps back again, pinch those shoulder blades and lift up again and you see really minimal scapular motion. So that's something that we don't really want, okay? Another cue that I see sometimes is when people retract their scaps, oftentimes they shrug with their upper traps a little bit as well. So do that for me, pinch for me, and then you see that extra shrug where you almost get an upward drift of the scap, right? Where it, it kind of drifts upward. We don't want that either because now you're getting too much upper trap and kind of taking the emphasis away from the lower trap. Okay, so I'm not a big fan of the pinch the scaps back regardless, but I certainly don't want to do it with the upper trap. Okay, I want to have a nice normal scapular humeral motion as you elevate their arm, and I don't want to pre-position, uh, pre I should say, the scap in a certain like kind of restricted lockback position. So, so this goes for prone exercises as well. So again, a, a poor way of doing this, or a poor way of kind of cueing this, is to lock the scap back, let me see that, and then elevate the arm again. So you can see what happens is we're really reducing the amount of scapular motion. What's happening is you're drifting up, almost bringing your humeral head into the acromion. We don't want that. Okay, so relax. You can see that's his bad position. I want you to let the arm hang down and give me a nice natural drift upward. See how much his scapula rotated on that? Watch the normal motion of his scap here in this position as it totally kind of upwardly rotates. That's what we're looking for. I don't want to restrict that motion and lock that down and just have him move his arm. That's not what we're looking for. Okay, so that's the motion I like. It's almost like saying don't just lift up. It's almost like push out and lift up. Okay, so do that again. So kind of push out and up, and I'm really getting that protraction upper rotation. Okay, so that's just a common thing that I see a little bit. Um, I see sometimes we, we over cue and we say really pinch those shoulder blades back. I'm not a big fan of those. I'd much rather have normal scapular humeral uh, rhythm between the two. So something to think about, something to maybe focus on with your, your patients, your athletes, your clients next time you see them.